Hey y'all, I just had to come on here today to remind you of a few things and I may have squirrel moments, but y'all, God's timing is everything. God puts you where you need to be for certain moments to bring glory to Him. And that kind of tied in with the journal entry that I posted about the wise saying number five on um, working diligently and in everything you do, work for God and not for man and bring Him glory in everything you do. Well, that's how I kind of have been going about my day, remembering those Bible verses. So, another thing, whenever you start your day in God's Word, He helps you to meditate on it throughout your day, and you're able to see um, how He can make it come in fruition for you. For example, and I have a few examples and I'm not going to elaborate on them all because I have a feeling some of these are going to be some great stories to come. But one, today when I went to go work out at Curves, I'm looking around at all these ladies of different ages, different stages of their life, um, different body shapes, different reasons for being there. and. But yet we were all there for a common interest of um, wanting to make sure we're taking care of our body and still moving. But also there was a common interest of being prayerful for one another. I know that one of the ladies that asked for prayer for her daughter in love today. And, and so right then, you know, I'm working out and I'm being prayerful. And then later on, I'm talking to another lady um, that is bless her loving heart. She's like 87 or 89. I can't remember the exact age, but she is moving and she is um, such an encourager to me and so we were talking about something and this is a lady that loves the Lord and she's in church and then in our conversation we started meeting up with another lady that I normally don't communicate with I don't know if it's because we're not there at the same time or not but this lady is breaking through free from different addictions from what I understand in her life and she has found Jesus but then there's one more addiction that she's working hard on just beating and she knows because we were talking about how with God everything is possible and anything is possible and she knows that she can break that a certain addiction with Christ and I was able to talk about this um, example of just stepping out in faith that I heard when I went to go visit a church um, in Lakeland, Grace City, that the preacher, he is such a great motivator, and he also brings it all back to the Word of God and makes it relevant. I really love that, and pastors making things relevant in my life, but backing it so up with Scripture. Well, he makes you kind of shed lights on um, a new a, a familiar story but in a new light and that's going to be another takeoff for a journal entry too but the example he gave is how we always think about Peter and we know when Peter stepped off the boat and he saw Jesus and and he stepped out and he kept his eyes on Jesus and then all of a sudden he's like oh my gosh what the heck I'm I'm in the ocean and it's roaring and uh, what am I doing and he took his eyes off Jesus and he sank but that's what a lot of people remember him doing is taking his eyes off of Christ and sinking so and it made me think about pictures because that's the another story I'm getting ready to come to Walgreens photo let's remember that but um how does really Peter want to be remembered for all the things that we see negative in his life or does does he need to be remembered for like that pastor said he took two steps while the other dudes in the boat, they didn't even step out. They, they saw Jesus maybe, and uh, they didn't step out in faith, but Peter did. And sometimes that's all it takes. Take the two steps of faith that you need to take. And whenever you do that, friend, just don't take your eyes off Jesus. Keep your eyes focused on him. But if you do, if you start sinking and you start drowning, reach up because God is there to grab you and pull you. And so make sure that, you know what? 
don't think about Peter and being in the light of um, he took his eyes off Christ, but that he took those two steps of faith to go towards Christ. So I want to make sure that I'm encouraging you to do that. Then the next little story weaving in here, this is my day. I mean, God puts us in the right place. I went to Walgreens to get some photos um, done and enlarged and, and this uh, one of my former students was there and she's getting married marrying a marine and we talked about this and the excitement it is to come and the nervousness that is to come and it was um, great conversation and then the lady that's behind the counter uh, loved our conversation I mean we probably talked 25 minutes and God did not send any other customers sorry Walgreens that way at that time because our conversation with the three of us but between me and the other girl it was just rich it was so good and talked about judgmental and hypocrites and I made the comment that I think I made it to her I know I made it to someone else in conversation um, just two days ago but we were talking about how a lot of people don't go to church because they look around and they're like oh I just saw you the other day and I know what you did and you're sitting here in these pews and and people are judgmental and so we made the I made the comment that a lot of times some of the worst things about Christianity are the Christians themselves and how we um, judge others. Guys, that's the one of the worst things that you can do. First of all, you're not the judge. God is the judge. And we all have stuff in our closets. We all have things um, in our lives that we've done or you may be in the process of doing that you don't need anybody to judge you for because they're not walking in your shoes and they don't know how your heart is. But God judges you. He sees you and he sees the intent of your heart. But not man. Not man. And so the reason why... This sweet girl we were talking about is because she was all tatted up. She had tattoos all over the place. And we started talking about her tattoos and the meaning behind them and, and regret or no regret. And she didn't have any re regrets on some of these tat on any of her tattoos because of the um the story that it was taking place at that moment in her life. And whether it was good or bad. There's a story there, and we talked about how no matter what good or bad happens in our life, the story we remember, sometimes it's that wrestle with God, um, whether it gives us that limp or it gives us that scarring or something that makes us remember either how far we've come, how strong we are, and and where we're going and it gives you a hope to hang on to and so Holly that's not a that's not for you my child to make sure you're getting all tatted up kind of thing because she do has a couple of them but I'm just saying that people judge this child this lady because of how she looks but y'all, she had the sweetest heart, the purest heart, and she does love Jesus. And we talked about places that she can go to church, and I told about where I go to church, and, and there are other churches that are around, and find, find the church that fits you. Just make sure it's biblically based. That is so important. So today, wherever I went, whether it was my working out, whether it's my photos, there was God involved. Then I just came back. I probably, you can see, oh my goodness, you can see this right here on my face where my face was planted down getting a massage. I love my massages. I have to have my massages, especially by Monica, because I know when I'm there with Monica, not only am I praying for her and different things in my mind while she's um, taking care of all my little ailments and tensions that I may have going on in my life here in my body and I'm praying for her she I know she's praying for me I mean she is praying for me with when she's touching my ankle and and different things and she um it's just such a good thing and the conversations that we have are so rich and meaningful and there's a purpose there's a purpose to everywhere I went today and I believe that God was bringing glory out of every conversation y'all every conversation it was so good and another thing oh my gosh Monica brought this to my attention too and I thought about it but then to have somebody else recognize it how awesome is this but I was telling her about my conversation with the girl at Walgreens and how this lady 
is four generations of her family, including her son, that has been in the Army. Thank you, first of all, for your service so much. Thank you. Four generations. But, hello, look at my leggings I had on today, y'all. I had on these leggings. They were just camo for me, but they're totally army. And then I'm talking about my soaking up the sun because I was thinking about, I didn't know y'all did little cute business cards like this. My husband sometimes says I should have a business card. And not that I have a business, but just to let people know, hey, you need an encouraging word? Go here, soaking up the sun. They may forget the conversation, but they'll have the card with them. So I'm thinking I'm gonna maybe do that. But y'all, besides my camo pants, my hat, I had this shirt on my niece that got me about how great thou art. Hello, how great is our God? He is so good. I don't know why we're always in awe whenever he does things, but that's just who he is. Y'all, so God's timing is perfect. And he's going to have you at the right place at the right time. And please bring glory to God in all that you do. I just had to share that. It's been a great day. And I've been busy about my day diligently um, in between all these little trips and conversations. And that's how God wanted this day to go. And now I got to go because I got lots to do inside my house too. I got to keep working. So y'all have a wonderful day. I love you. And thank you for sharing this. If you are encouraged by soaking up the sun, son.com, you know, it's not about me. It is not about Stephanie. It's about Jesus. And that's where my heart is that's where i want your heart to be and i want to encourage you to love the lord with all of your heart soul mind and strength okay i rattled on but i think it was good was it i don't know i hope it was because i just love jesus and i want y'all to so have a great day be intentional and work diligently take care bye